it's taken the better part of 10 years of seeking therapy, trying to figure out why. So real quick, a litany of uh, treatment modalities from traditional talk therapy to uh, accelerated resolution therapy, which is very specific memory processing in and around traumatic events, acupuncture um, uh, to um, very, very old school, traditional shamanic means, um, cer ceremonial with ancient medicine, telling my story um, in a massive, you know, small and or big crowds to pure civilians to share the pain, which is ritualistic through uh, what I've learned through War in the Soul, which Dr. Tech talks about. It's a soul affliction that we have. and. And I get that. My point is, all even through all of that, I've still struggled. And then finally ended up uh, out in California last year at Brain Treatment Center. Very simple process that uses electromagnetic pulse, pulse uh, energy to realign and reharmonize brain frequencies. And they were able to, through EEGs, show me why I had so much noise in my head, why I have so uh, overwhelmed, why my anxiety is crazy, all these things. And um, through 30 minutes a day treatment, um, we're able to change my, the trajectory of my life because a lot of stuff happened. And one of the things was unbeknownst to me is uh, I, I gained access to what I now can easily refer to. I access mid-range emotion. And what I didn't understand uh, before that was that I had up here and I had down here. I was either on fire in life, in business, in love, whatever it is, or I'm done. Suicidal thoughts, depression, everything that's done. I started having these other emotions and, and, and one of them was like, man, what is sadness? Wow, that, that's cool. Kinda, I think, I'm not sure. And then that, it really came to me in a moment about uh, five weeks into the six week treatment, I saw a Facebook post of a, a, an old dear friend of mine who unfortunately I hadn't talked to in a while. And um, I had all, we, we had a falling out and I saw a picture of him posted and he was dying of cancer. And um, I stopped up in my tracks and uh, I started crying. And for the first time in I don't know how long, definitely since 2005, I was like, oh wow, this is empathy. Like I actually, um, I feel pain for him. Like I, I'm sad. Um, and, I, and I'm certain for a lot of people in the world, they're like, well, it's pretty normal. It's like, well, not for me, uh, because that's the thing. Uh, everything's been gone. So yeah, horrible shit happens. I'm the really good guy to have around to keep people calm uh, because I'm gonna be the guy who's calm because I don't, I don't feel anything. What reharmonizing my brain waves did for me and I know of others as well is enabled me to um, live life in a new way. Um, you know, literally, it just keeps coming back. I, I, I tell people, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm happy to be sad. Like, That's crazy. It's like, no, because sadness is something different than absolute on top of the world happiness or absolute depression. It's something different. I don't have to want to die. I don't have to want to go kill. I can just go, you know what? I can, it's just okay to be sad. And yes, I'm a, a, you know, a firm believer in therapy and, and tons of other things, yet I figured all, you know, figured this shit out for myself. And that's why I say, I don't know that it, everyone's gonna be able to relate to this. I only speak for myself. And what I know to be true is that I gave up a piece of me in order to live and, and give life. And now after the fact, if I'm going to experience a beautiful life back here, I have to rehumanize. And all that means is I have to gain access to and learn how to feel again in these ranges of emotions that are outside of the ones that I was using the majority of my adult life.